In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we continue our look at a new feature called Animated Titles with Motion Graphics. This is new for those who use PowerDirector version 18 or those who are part of the 365 subscription model. In the previous tutorial, we showed you a little bit about how to use the tool and we made an error. I'd like to correct that right now. What we've discovered since is that you can enlarge the duration of an animated title with graphics. Now on the screen you see two examples. The one on the left and the one on the right are identical except the one on the left is shorter in duration. And notice it comes and the, the lines move back and forth and it disappears. When you lengthen it you cannot control the duration of the intro or outro but the middle animation simply loops, as you see on the lower right corner of the screen. So you can lengthen it, but this is what you have control over. We're hopeful that someday in the future we'll be able to perhaps keyframe the intro or the outro, or choose whether to turn either one on or off, but at the moment the only thing you can do is lengthen the duration, and then the middle animation movement will continue longer to fill up the time. So that's a bit of a footnote to our previous tutorial. We hope that enlightens you a little bit and shows accurately what can happen. Now we're going to transition to show you the 44 animations available in the animated titles with motion graphics, the 44 templates that you can use. The only change I've made from the standard look is I've moved some of them to places in the screen where they look better on the background. The first one you see here is three different titles and three colored boxes. The second one has only two titles and two contrasting boxes. The third one again has two titles. Again you can change the font style and font size at least to some degree. Number four is also a pair of different titles with an animated element. The next one also has two, with two triangles that animate and then move back together and disappear. The next one is one we used in one of our tutorials. This has four different title elements in it. Now we see one with a circle as the focal point. Our next template uses transparency in the background. Then we have one that focuses on a certain point on your video. Unfortunately, you cannot move that point. You must move the entire title. The next one is two corners opening up with text popping in between and then shrinking at the end. The next one again is a three line or three title title element with animation. Then we have one that's a, a little bit disconcerting if you find it a project that would use something like that. The next one has two boxes with animation. The next one is a basic one, pops up in the center. Again, you can relocate any of these animated titles to any part of the screen you like. The next one begins and ends with some circles. It's a two title. The next one is only letters, but kind of creative. It has four title elements. The next one has three title elements. Again, no graphics. The next one has two graphics, one inserted inside the other one. The next one we've used in an example that has three different title areas. The 
And we have one with a numbered box. You can change the number to letters if you wish. And this has four different title areas. And another box that splits. That one doesn't look quite as professional in my view, but you may find a use for it. Next one use semi-transparency and a box similar to another one that you saw slightly earlier. And we have one that flips up with a corner and a point. Again, the location of this will be critical when you use it to point out something in your production. We have another one with a circle. This one rolls on and has animation around the outside. The next one uses transparency again, and then the secondary box with more text. Then we have one with two different text areas. Another one slightly similar. We have one with a triangle and uh, I'm not sure where I would use this one I see this in some of the power director promotions that's where it came from we have another one pointing to a point on the screen again location will be important you can resize this as well as reposition it on the screen another one slightly similar that points out a location on the screen for the attention of the viewer And another one slightly similar, but um, with a rather intriguing circle as part of the text. Now we have a pretty simple one. I like that. It's clean, it's neat, it's easy to follow, could have a lot of applications. Another one slightly similar. I like this looks of this one quite a bit. This has four text elements. Next one is simple for text, long on animation. I find this one a little bit hard to follow as the graphic goes back and forth across the letters. We have another simple one here focusing on color changes. You cannot change the colors, you can only change the color of the text. This is the first one I've seen that goes all the way across the screen. It's nice and simple. Now we have one that you see in other applications where it looks like it's a three-dimensional ribbon. This one would be good in a youth-oriented video. I don't think it would look very professional anywhere else. Now this one has a date in the middle. You could put other text. It doesn't have to be date field. This one uh, comes across with the word news. That is editable because you have four different title areas in this particular one. This one I find a little bit hard to follow. I think it draws too much attention to the animation, but you may find a use for it in your productions. So we have the one you saw earlier in this video. And the next one we have is simple animation, elements coming out from the center. And those are the 44 animated title texts available in PowerDirector 18 and PowerDirector 365. If you're evaluating the program, we hope this helps you understand what's available for you.